What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be having a quick look at the L12 line of microlinear actuators and specifically the four different submodels in that line. We have the L12i, the L12r, the L12p, and the L12s. I'm going to help you understand the differences between these different actuators to help you choose the right model for your next project. First we have the i series. The i is easy to tell because it has two different plugs on it. The I actuator models feature an onboard digital microcontroller. The controller is non-programmable and it will automatically configure itself for one of four input modes, depending on which leads are plugged in when you power it on. The input modes are RC servo, 0 to 5 volt, 4 to 20 milliamps, or PWM. Next we have the L12R. The L12R has a standard servo plug black, red, and white, and is plug and play interchangeable with a standard rotary servo. The L12R is ideal for applications where you're controlling your actuator with an RC receiver or an Arduino board. Next up is the P-Series. The P-Series has a five lead plug and is designed to be used with our linear actuator control board. The linear actuator control board allows you to customize your retracted and extended end of stroke limits, actuator speed, actuator sensitivity, as well as giving you five different input modes. And lastly, we have the S-Series. The S-Series is a simple two-wire device that extends when you apply 12-volt power or 6-volt, depending on the model that you have, and retracts when you reverse the polarity. The S-Series is perfect for applications where you just want a simple push-button or rocker switch application the S-Series is compatible with our wireless remote, as well as a variety of other switch types. Hopefully this helps you understand what the difference is uh, between our four different L12 models. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more product videos like this one.